This is a story of many parts. It's a story about water. It's also a story about men. It's a story about money, too. Nature put water in a mountain wilderness in generous helpings of snow and rainfall. Men like Jack Elliott contrived to move that water to a pair of thirsty cities. The men are long on vision, but uh, some of them admit they're short on horsemanship. Pioneers in this wilderness story are the men and machines who pierced the forest primeval with a construction roadway. Here's the jumping off point on a 60 million dollar water story. And it becomes a story of your money, from your utilities earnings, not from your tax dollars. Access roads are not designed for metropolitan high-speed traffic, but they must be designed to avoid onrushing mountain streams which exert irresistible force in the merry, merry months of spring. Huge culverts, seven feet high, ten feet wide, are introduced into the main streamway of Homestake Creek. The backfilling is done by hand to avoid damage to the steel plating in the culverts. A powerful tractor hurls its battered blade against splintered boulders along the three and a half mile length of the roadway. Its circuitous path rises 720 feet in elevation in order to reach the site of Homestake Lake. To complete the road before winter snow arrives, an army of hard rock drillers was employed to detonate 100,000 pounds of explosives, which smashed 60,000 cubic yards of rock into the roadway needed by the Homestake contractors. The finished road is a joy forever for the horsemen and the men on foot who had struggled through the rugged terrain for many months before this highway was placed in use. But the engineers, ingenious architects of mighty monuments, didn't wait for the roadways. They hopped from peak to peak by helicopters to complete construction designs. Once beautiful Homestake Lake loses its glamour for the time being, its water level is lowered preliminary to the start of construction. The receding water bears the ugly bottom and its mud. The mud remains, mud which must be cleared before the work begins on this all-important homestake dam. The dam will be 225 feet high, 700 feet wide at its base, and 2,000 feet long at its crest. It will impound 15 billion gallons of water. Drag lines and monstrous trucks battle the mud, the rocks, and the water. If you don't know Colorado, you might think this fellow's trying to move a mountain with a teaspoon. He's using a jackleg rock moving machine to get a foothold on the side of a cliff, which will mark the portal of Missouri Tunnel. This tunnel will bring water from several creeks into Homestake Reservoir.
Rain makes water, and water is the end product sought by the cities of Colorado Springs and Aurora in the mountain country. But it also makes brand new mud out of brand new roads. Roads needed for the mobilization of heavy construction equipment. The contractor was able to get a firm bottom on this stretch of road before the rains came. Snow. Sometimes as much as 400 inches in a season. Snow so wet and heavy it'll create billions of gallons of water in the form of great snowpacks. It'll also cover up you and your automobile if you delay too long in taking pictures. Three feet of snow paralyzes city folks in their newfangled automobiles and keeps them close to the fireside. Snowpacks in a construction area are a temporary nuisance. One determined bulldozer and a skilled operator push the snow drifts under the trees where they belong. Snow and ice-made avalanches are nightmares for men working in higher elevations. Moving with stealth, inching silently down the slopes as they begin their destructive movement, avalanches become uncontrollable floods, carrying trees, rocks, animals, and even human beings before them as they plunge down the slopes and envelop the lower elevations. The Army brings one of its famed 155 millimeter howitzers into an avalanche-threatened area adjacent to Homestake Lake. The mission? Trigger the avalanche into an area from which men and machines have been evacuated. A few days earlier, a man died in a small avalanche which engulfed a quarry area. The temperature 20 degrees below zero. After round of high explosives are lobbed into the snowpacks along the highest peaks. Avalanches are unpredictable, and this one is stubborn. Explosives blow great holes in the snow and rocks, but the hope for slide does not develop. Nature scores a temporary victory. A few days later, explosive charges are dropped from a helicopter and trigger avalanches into the evacuated area, after which men and machines return to their tasks. Mm -hmm. 